watch a very familiar passage of scripture. Psalm 34. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it or hear thereof and be glad. The humble hurt anah, wounded people will hear me magnifying God and they're going to be glad. Then he says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Now, most of the time, people stop right there with this text. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. But if you skip down to verse 8, he says, oh, taste and see. See for yourself. The word see is uh, is, uh, uh, raha in Hebrew. It means prove it. Try it yourself. Don't take my word for it. Try God yourself. Try giving him real uninhibited praise. Don't just watch me praise him. He said, oh, taste and see. Now, taste here in the Old Testament is always metaphorical. It's not talking about, it's not talking about simply uh, putting it in your mouth. He's saying uh, taste in the sense of experience God. Experience him for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And eventually in this life, thank you, Jesus, in the midst of corona, you're going to have to know God and experience God for yourself. You're going to have to learn how to go in the other room and call on God until you can't scream and holler anymore. Well, that's not my way. Let things get bad enough. You'll drop on your knees and call on the name of the Lord. The Bible said then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. It didn't mean that they boo-hooed. They screamed out to him. But if you haven't tasted and seen, you'll watch praisers and not be a praiser. You'll listen and hear, thank you, Jesus, but you won't give him thanks because you haven't tasted. I used to hear people say, I I, I don't like bean pie. You never tasted it. You never tasted it because your perception of bean pie is based on beans you've experienced in the past. So you said, well, I I hate lima beans. I hate hate pinto beans. I hate black eyed peas. so, So you're trying to put your experience in the pie. So you think you're going to have a lima bean pie. So you curse the experience because of your bad experience. So when you go to the mall, when you go to the store, they give you samples on toothpicks. And they will sell it by explaining it to you. This is this is a a, 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 a cordon bleu with a sprinkle of Chardonnay sauce that you're like, oh, for you that don't know, uh, Cordon Bleu, <laughs> but it's Cordon Bleu and a little Chardonnay sauce. You're like, ooh, that sounds good. Then you tasted it with your ears. You haven't put it in your mouth yet, but your ears have been satisfied. Lord, help me today. Your faith comes by hearing. And a whole lot of things before they get in your spirit, you taste them with your ears. But if you heard a whole bunch of negative, bad, ungodly stuff, carnal advice, they're messing up your perception. You can't even get it right. And when your perception is messed up, your reception is messed up. Let me say it again. When your perception is messed up, your reception is messed up. You can't receive the right way. So he says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him.